Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing, freezing and performance issue with BioMutant game on your computer. Now the first step is to go ahead and restart your PC and launch the game. So go ahead and go to the start menu, then click on the power icon, then click on restart. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and launch this team and then try to launch the game. That should go ahead and fix the problem. The next step is to verify the integrity of game file. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, then select properties. Now go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once the verification is done, try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you can go ahead and do a clean installation of your graphics driver. If you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I am showing for Nvidia, so copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. You can open the link in a browser, go to the Nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card then click on search then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen so agree to the terms so click on agree and continue and then on this screen go ahead and select the option which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now once you put a check over here then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and in case if you are using windows security allow the game exe file to your windows security program. Now if you have any third party antivirus like if you have Avast, Norton, McAfee make sure that you go to the your antivirus program and allow the game exe file over there in case if you are using windows security go to the start menu then click on settings and then go to update and security click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed so in my case the game is installed in D drive so open the game folder so open steam library then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder and then open the bio mutant folder and over here you will find the exe file of your game so in my case the game is still downloading so open this game folder and then select the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link this link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down and here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 now over here you will see x86 and x64 version you have to go ahead and install both x86 and x64 version so click on both the hyperlink now once you click on it it will download the file and once the download is complete run both the exe files so click on it then click on install or repair whatever you see run the second file as well click on yes to allow and then click on install or repair whatever you see now once the installation is done just let the installation complete Now do not click on restart now, close this window and once both the file is installed, close it and then go to the start menu and then click on the power icon. Then click on restart and after the system restart, go ahead and launch the game. The next step is to update your Windows 10 to the latest version. Make sure that your Windows is up, up to date. Right now the window, the, the latest version is, the version is 2.1.h1 so go ahead and update your Windows 10 to the latest version. Now to update the Windows 10 to the latest version, go to the start menu, then click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on windows update and then click on click on check for update and once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now to run the game as an administrator, go to the game installation folder. So in steam, make a right click on the game, then click on manage, then click on browse local files now it will take you to the game installation folder so open the game folder and over here you will find the game exe file so 
in my case the game is still downloading so i don't have the exe file so just open the game folder and then make a right click on the game exe file so for example i'm showing with another program so once you open the game folder on the game exe file make a right click and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then try to launch the game so try to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam straight away uh, make a right click and then select uh, manage then click on browse local files and then try to launch the game from the game installation folder also um, if you are laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer came with dual graphic card one is intel other, other may be nvidia or amd so make sure that you you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card now for this you have to go ahead and type in graphic settings in windows search box and click on graphic settings now click on browse and then it will take you to this screen and now from here you have to go ahead and go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the steam library folder open the steam apps folder then common then open the game folder and over here you will find your exe file select your uh, select the game exe file so make sure that you select the game exe file from here and once the game exe file is selected click on add and then select the game exe file then click on options and then select high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game so as i told you try to launch the game from the installation folder the next step is to disable steam overlay now to disable steam overlay make a right click on the game select properties and over here you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then try to launch the game now in case if you have any other overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer or if you have ge force experience running on the computer go ahead and close all the overlay application also disable steam cloud save for this go to steam click on steam then click on settings and go to cloud and if this is checked which says enable steam cloud synchronization so if this is on go ahead and uncheck this and then try to launch the game also perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that before you make any changes put a check over here hide all microsoft services then click on disable all in my case it's grayed out because i already did it so in your case it will be highlighted so once you put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply okay and then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then try to launch the game also make sure that you close all the overclocking applications so if you have any kind of overclocking application running on the computer go ahead and close it so if you have msi after burner running go ahead and close it if you have reva tuner running on the computer go ahead and close it so make sure that only the game and the steam is running and close all the background application so for this you can go to the start menu and then click on settings and in the search box go ahead and type in background apps and then click on make sure that this is turned off if background apps is on go ahead and turn it off and then try to launch the game the next step is to try window mode so if if you are running the game in full screen mode try to run the game in window mode and also lower down the graphic settings so if you are running the game in ultra settings or maybe high settings you can lower down to medium settings or maybe low settings and then try to launch the game also disable your vsync and then go ahead and try to launch the game that should go ahead and improve the game performance the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so in case if nothing is working in that case go to the steam make a right click on bio mutant game and then click on manage then click on uninstall option over here now once the uninstall is done delete all the game folders so go to the game installation folder if you find any remaining of bio mutant go ahead and delete all the game folder and then also you can go ahead and delete the save game file this will uh, this will go ahead and lose all the game progress but if you if you want you can go ahead and do it now after the uninstallation restart your computer and then if you have ssd on your computer go ahead and install the game on ssd that should go ahead definitely improve the performance so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel